In this video, we'll take a look at some of the strengths and some of the weaknesses of a 1323. We'll also identify the adaptable 11v11 formations. But first, let's take a look at the positions. The 1323 consists of a goalkeeper, a right back, a centre back, a left back, a holding midfield player, an attacking midfield player, a right forward, a centre forward, and a left forward. These are some of the advantages of playing a 1 3 2 3. The formation is designed to allow teams to possess the ball but also get numbers forward in the attacking areas with three forwards. The system allows for natural depth to develop when in possession of the ball through the number four and the number six. By dropping the wide forwards into midfield, we can adapt this formation to become a 1 3 4 1, which is slightly more defensive. Here are some of the disadvantages of a 1-3-2-3. With only one centre-back, it is important that both full-backs don't push up at the same time and leaving that centre-back exposed and vulnerable. As a result, full-backs are often reluctant to join attacks and can become too defensive-minded. And finally, if the wide forward players do not track back, then the wide midfield areas can be exposed by opposition players. When picking a formation for 9v9, we have to consider what formation we want to play at 11v11. The 1-3-2-3 can be adaptable to the following 11v11 formations. The 1-4-3-3, the 1-3-4-3, and the 1-4-2-3-1. The 1323 is a very solid formation to choose. It is very popular amongst youth coaches because it provides a lot of balance and symmetry throughout the formation from defense through midfield and into attack. By playing this formation, you will also develop roles such as the holding midfielder, the central striker, and two wide forwards. If you plan to use these players at the 11v11 level, then this is a good formation for you to use. Thanks for watching, if you have any comments feel free to leave them in the comment section below and please don't forget to subscribe.